Oh, Fina, I forgot me. Oh, no, I have them on. Sandals? <laughs> oh, I didn't have your earrings on. Who am I giving you? I love your tattoos. I do too. I'm so happy you have Thank them. you. Yeah, me too. They look so good. It makes me more interested in having a body. I really like that it's all this crazy sh Kill. All these tattoos that scream my religious uh, upbringing affected me. <laughs> yeah. And then this then, nice cat. Yeah. But the secret, you know the secret? The Russian prison tattoo means female thief. Well, hi, I'm the U.S. settler employee who's an overnight fine sensation, Trixie Mattel. <laughs> and I'm a wet hunk of gristle in the shape of a hot, sexy woman. Katya. And welcome to uh, the show where we talk about whatever we want. Because it's our show, not yours. Bones. Who got? <laughs> Who's got them? Who needs them? Who needs them? to get one? Do you, how much time uh, per day do you spend on your phone? Is it, are you glued not to your lot. phone? Really? No. I'm not that person. I'm not that gay. Because to me, it's a work instrument. So I'm like, sure. I don't need to spend more time with that. Yeah, if I wasn't this beautiful, I probably wouldn't use the phone ever. I was in a cab with Naomi Smalls once, and I, I had my phone in my bag for maybe 10 minutes. And she's like, so I noticed you don't have your phone out a lot. And I was like, it was just 10 minutes. Well, she's young. She has it, like, surgically. Her she, phone has legs. It never. <laughs> ever leaves her hand. The phone has also become too, it's, it's, it's let me know too much about people. Yeah. Like I hate a gym selfie, but not as much as I hate the caption, obligatory gym selfie. You are not obliged, you're trash. <laughs> no one made you. <laughs> just do You're just trash. I, yeah. If you're gonna do it, just do it and say you're trash, don't say anything at all. Look okay. at me mad. I, I look like a painted turtle. <laughs> you are, you are livid. I look like I look like a hermit crab with like a football team painted on it. The Rockland peaches. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I like it when somebody posts a photo that is basically like a hustler spread, and then the caption is like, "Acceptance is the key through which gratitude can be received." Yes. And then peace. And I'm like, there's a photo of your home. Or it's like night in playing video games, and it's just nude with like a controller. <laughs> you're acting like it's about one thing when in fact you're just being gross. And like, be gross. Yeah. Be gross. Change your costume, Mimi. Change it around. <laughs> what? What? Who? All Stars 1. Oh, gotcha. Tammy Brown. There you go. You want crazy? I'll give you crazy. Huh! Um, huh! Remember when the Razor came out and we were all like, it's space, it's the future? Yeah. Totally. I had one. I never Stupid had one. phone. Aww. Really? But you get that really satisfying, like. Oh, the <laughs> drama of ending a call. Yeah. I like miss the rotary, you know? Because you can sort of like oh, pause and you? reflect. Hello? Uh, <laughs> oh, I'll catch you, you see? <laughs> I miss smoke signals. Mm. Did you ever have a Blackberry? No, I was too poor, but I did have a boyfriend and he called it his Crackberry because he loved it so much. People love the Blackberry. They're gone, girl. Remember the ball? I don't like them. Bitch, who All those cares? little buttons, go f*** yourself. Did you have T9? T9, bitch. The name Brian. You know this. Oh, yeah, yeah, Asian. yeah. Asian. It changes it to Asian. Yeah. I, I love wish that. I knew what T9 changed Trixie to now. Probably, probably bong, bong. A four-letter word. It would change a six-letter word to a four-letter word. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. People used to keep, keep a notebook by the phone. A landline. Do you have a landline? I loved talking on the landline. School. You did? Oh, yeah, like I used to twirl it up with my finger, you know, the cord, yep. I would walk long distances and then, oh, you know, I have to walk back. That yeah. was fun. It also used to be like, you could only call certain people for free. Yeah. Free calls on weekends, nights and yeah. weekends. Nights and weekends. <laughs> Give me a good plan. I love a plan. <laughs> Phone plan? No? Predictive text, you put predictive text. Yeah, I just use that <laughs> exclusively. And if it's not one of the suggested words, I guess you didn't want to say it. Hello? Listen, this is a machine that was built by men smarter than me. We should do tweets um, with our predictive text. Okay. I don't tweet and I don't tweet. I love Twitter. It's right on my phone. I just don't think God you have home a good and job. <laughs> getting. I don't think you have a good job at the Grove. That's what I said. That's Even lovely. my phone is judgmental. Mine's really boring. What does it say? I just woke him and I want to have a good time. Sexuals. Let me just say, I do not enjoy sexting. Oh, I do. I don't. 
Don't. And I, oh, I put, I, I, I promise a big game too. I'm like, when I get home, I want us to just fuck all night. And then I get home and I'm like, I just, I can't. Yeah, I have, I have my hairs in curlers. I had Chipotle on my feet are all bunioned. Equal parts hungry bottom, equal parts lazy dead person from hell. Yeah. Like, I, I can't negotiate the part where I'm supposed to, like, I always want to laugh, take it too far, and just, you know what I mean? When you're sexting? Yeah. Like, I'm gonna, you know, like, hot, hot, hot. Give me your big alien. Yeah, or I'm gonna stuff your full of, like, flaming hot Cheetos, baby. It's lunchtime on that. You know, whatever. Like, I don't know. Did you ever sex somebody who was not supposed to receive it? No. Uh, yes, I have, because yeah. a lot of people in my life are named David, including my boyfriend. Sure. Like four or five people who are professional contacts are named David. You should do boyfriend David. And so I've been, I have literally, oh, this is so embarrassing. What did you I say? have literally texted like, Mr. Daddy. To, to who? To like David from Drag Queen Merch. And he's like, ah, ha, ha, have a good day. Do they ever go along with it? Like, <laughs> yeah. No. No. But no, he doesn't. That's but anyway, bad. that's how I learned to change people in your. If you have multiple so and sos, yeah, add a suffix. Sure. Let's see what you got. Okay. This is an iPhone three. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely, Lovely gal. gal. <laughs> yeah. um, you have the mattifying screen, I see. Is, is that just dust? Hold on. That's, I think this is a seven plus. A seven plus. Yeah, the big. You are big, behind the times. Yeah, because it still works. Are you a colonial? Oh. This is an iPhone 10 Max. Is it really? Yes, it is. Can I see? Yes, I can. <laughs> uh, does it have the thing where it goes like? So there's no home button or anything. Huh? What do you do? You don't do that. <laughs> oh. oh, I just called somebody. Oh God. Great clinic is this Trixie again? Oh, and then Siri got invented. Oh, I don't like that. Hey, girl. Hello there, Brian. Is she talking to you or me? I don't like that. Have you seen my dead dog? I have not. Fair enough. Who is Katya Zamolachkova? Here's the contact. Oh, show me my contacts. Who is Trixie Mattel? Here's the contact info. Okay, yeah, I know my own number. Also, something about wearing nails and phones. I love this. Oh, I hate that. Do you do voice to text? Oh yeah. Tell that bitch I hope she dies. Yeah, I yeah. like being enunciating really odd things like, no, honey, we have the funeral. So if you're gonna have to pick up those bushel of grapes and drop them off at Jerry's, I have to dry clean my, my, you know, you get the idea. Right. That's great. Also, I think you can tell a lot about a person by how they choose to house their phone. Oh, sure. For me, it's pink, it's clear, it's functional, it's tactical, and it's still a little okay. That is me, 100%. For you. Dirty, matte, religious. Religious, yeah. dirty. Yeah. You know, phones have saved lives. Do they really? Oh, 911. You could, <laughs> you could turn on your location. You could get abducted. I could find you. That, I, I don't like that. Okay. But I also, I kind of, like, I think I'm usually on the other end of the thing. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't want to be sought out. I don't want to be... Do you know what I mean? You want to be taken? I want to be taken, I kind of want to, yeah, taken away and maybe not rescued. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're unique in that, that you're waiting know. to be abducted. Do you yeah. think the phone will ever be like implanted in the skin? I think it already is. You'll be like, hello, or I don't know. Maybe in the jaw? Something less attractive. Like when I answer the phone, I want like, hold on, I gotta take this. <laughs> hello, <laughs> did you bring my husband? <laughs> uh-huh. Have you ever been too famous that you are afraid to give out your phone number now? Yep, I absolutely, yeah, because I've, I've, I've been people, burned a little too many times, yeah. I've had fans text me, one time somebody was texting me pretending to be a door. It took me a long time to realize it was not a door. Are you serious? They were like, hey, it's me, I got your number from a friend, it's a door. And I texted them for days and eventually was like, you're not a door. Did they try to get any like uh, personal info from you? No, they were like, they were asking me weird dating sexual questions. I was like, I don't think a door is trying to fuck me. Oh my God. I don't Unless like you that. are a door, let me know, call in. I want to know, are you a door? Dial one for yes, two for no, and three if you knew Trixie was talking about a door Delano and feel the editors beat the joke to death. You know what though? I am um, one famous person in Hollywood told me something I'll never forget. She said, every six months, change your phone number. What? Yeah. Who said this? Oh, a, a famous person. A real, but we're, yeah. nobody cares about us. 
No, but I mean, she was like not Julia Roberts, but she was like, you know. Emma Roberts. Yeah. Who's related to Julia Roberts? Uh, niece. Yeah, and you know who uh, Michelle Obama's related to? Barack Obama. I was gonna say that. That's husband I was and wife. Say that, yeah. yes. Husband and wife. Oh, shit, I'm getting a call. Hold on. Hello? Yeah, we're still at the studio. Okay, bye. My mom's dying. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't implicitly trust doctors because I know how lazy people are. But do you think they went through eight years of medical schooling to be lazy? No, they would go for, for the money. No way, bitch. Yeah. Doctors do not make those money. <laughs> Doctors do not make those money. <laughs> Can we do a doctor? Doctors do not make that much money. They make a lot of money. Not more than us. Well, wait a minute. Are there like Christian doctors where they're like, yes. I'd recommend, um, oh. I would recommend uh, to a state of medicine and and prayer. Yeah, Christian scientists. No. Yeah, the, power, the healing power of prayer. Pick a lane. Yeah, I know. Do you know what I mean? Remember I when know. you were either a science person or a God person? Yeah. Christian scientists, that makes me think of like Jesus in like eighth grade lab goggles. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and then it goes, poof, Christmas. 